you never know what you'll find from spa smashing pumpkins to motorcycles in an aircraft hangar of all places Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others I visit a variety of antique, vintage and thrift shops within southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This time it's of the Dunville Air Museum. There's a historic plaque out on the main road. You have to drive in. Not too far, but it's not on the road. The airport is, but not the uh, museum building. It's one of the hangars. The large letters on there says Dunville Museum. Interesting um, yard sale. This, they, they ran here. Um, it was take what you want, pay what you wish. Um, some people loaded up cart after cart. Hopefully they gave some amount of money that was reasonable. I think the folks here are kind of getting sick and tired of just having to pack it away. So that's why they were hoping to move a lot of material. The splash on this one had the spa smashing pumpkins. And the, you'll see the sign coming up when it's unlit, not in the dark. It's... Mm, it's an edge-lit LED. Um, a lot of stuff, all laid out nicely on lots of tables. Not too many people were there. It was, um, there was a, there was some nasty storms around the time that we were there, but they weren't touching this location. As far as the museum part goes, <coughs> there are, there are aircraft, uh, some vehicles and sundry materials that are on display as you can see there there's a, a prep room prior to going into the hangar itself that I didn't get any images for you unfortunately but if you're really gonna go here they're gonna want some small amount for the admission to the to the uh, museum I think it, it would be well worth whatever they're asking to have. So they had sporting goods. They had uh, untold amounts of all kinds of things. I picked up some interesting old music books. I don't usually go for those. So that there must have been something that drew me to them. Here's an overview of the hangar. It was used for training pilots during the Second World War for just a few years. It's been, the airport's still in operation for for um, smaller aircraft. I don't think it can handle anything large, but there's lots of small aircraft that can handle this. The area is very flat around there, so it makes perfect sense for what they did, where they did it. There were a lot of these kind of airports all around, along, uh, all around Canada, uh, supplying flyers for the Second World War on the Allied side, including some Americans, as I understand, who wanted to get into it prior to the Americans actually getting in involved in the Second World War. They even had a motorcycle. Now, it wasn't part of the pay what you want. Uh, they wanted some reasonable amount of money for it. Oh, 2000 Well, I don't know if that's a bad price or not. It's not something I'm familiar with for pricing. So here's this other stuff. All these other items that would be kitchenware as well. They had... Oh yes, Sandman, or Sandland, I should say. Here's an overview of the uh, of the sale itself. 
and another view. I think it's from the same location. They had uh, some unusual items. Uh, there's always something unusual in some of these these sails. Here's one of the aircraft that has the wings at full. That's probably from an aircraft carrier. One of the automobiles. As I understand it, um, most of the aircraft, if not all, had seen service overseas or they were used for training at this airport. That was actually a simulator. Here we see the inside of the simulator. I don't know if it's functional. Uh, they have it roped off so nobody goes in. There's the smoking pumpkins uh, LED edge lit, LED light with a kind of a pumpkin color into color light coming out of it. Yeah, you know, this uh, view was taken uh, in, in it's a dark, darkness with uh, uh, a stony surfaced uh, background. They also had a lot of these uh, containers, toolboxes, boxes, uh, um, posters, even uh, oil tins. So we've got Petroliana in there, but they're part of the museum. So, yeah, they've got quite a bit going on in here. This is all part of the museum part. Yeah, this is one where I took three photos and merged them together so we can slide up and see all of it. Number six, RCAF Dunville Museum. So that's the, the formal name of the location. Here are the stills that it, that last uh, scrolling image originated from. So these are the boxes in a still image format, so you have a better view of it if you choose. And uh, a little closer image of that folding wing, wing aircraft they tell you what it is oh, it's a tracker and it has its previous uh, signia so I believe this is the uh, mosquito and they explain a lot more about it here I think there were one and two seat versions of it two seat being um, ones for training and with this we see that it's got a build number, when it was produced, what it would look like in the air. I think I may have actually built a mo plastic model airplane of this. I know I did one of these. This is a Lancaster, if I, if I have it right. I may not be right. Yeah, it is Lancaster. And there is a flying one in the Hamilton Museum. And the two flying ones actually met uh, just a couple years back. On the way out, they have this curious little thing. It looks like to be a privy. When all they did was put sand inside so you could put your cigarette butts there instead. Because you can't smoke inside. Thanks for joining me on this tour. Hope you enjoyed it. Give us a like and a subscribe and maybe even a dingle at the bell. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.